In the previous two video segments, we covered how to add setup information to a new VS7 run file. First, via the manual entry approach, and second, using VS7 template files, also known as .edt files. Now we want to cover a third approach, using a simple copy and paste function. There are actually two ways to copy and paste. The first involves first entering all the setup information into an Excel worksheet. What I'm showing you here is the basic format for a relative standard curve run. I'm using seven column headers, well, sample name, target name, task, reporter, quencher, and quantity. Be sure the spelling of the headers is exactly as you see here. Below each column header, I've entered the appropriate information for the various wells. Now all I have to do is highlight this whole section and copy using Control C. Next, I go to the VS7 software. I'll click Experiment Setup. This is a relative standard curve run, so I make sure that option is selected as my experiment type. I skip the usual step of going to Define and manually entering target and sample names, and instead I go straight to Assign, then Well Table. All I'm going to do at this point is select the top well, like this, and paste in the information that I just copied a minute ago by doing a Control V. And that's all there is to it. As you can imagine, this is a really nice option for full plate runs, especially for a 384 well format. Quickly, here are the column headings for a Delta Delta CT run. The headings are a bit different. Well, sample name, bio group, which you can leave blank if you don't have biological replicates, target name, task, reporter, and quencher. If you're doing a different type of run, such as genotyping, and you need to know the appropriate column headers, please watch the next video in the series for a full explanation of how to get that information. For now, let's look at a second way to copy and paste setup information. This approach involves using the setup from a previous, now completed run. I'm going to open a completed run. Say it's this 96 well standard curve experiment. Next, I'll initiate a new experiment by going to New Experiment, Experiment Setup. I'll choose 96 wells as my plate type and confirm that standard curve is selected. As before, I'll leave everything else as it is. I go to my navigation tabs at the bottom of the screen and select the completed run file. I have a choice. I can go to Setup, Assign, and use the plate layout here, or I can go to Analysis and use the plate layout here. Either way, same difference. I'm going to choose the first option. Okay, you can see that the only assay assigned to this plate is RNASP. I have two sample names, 5K and 10K, plus I have several wells that contain a standard curve. Let's say I want to transfer the information for every well on the plate. By the way, I could of course choose to copy just a selection of wells instead. Now to do everything, I select the top left box. Then I right click anywhere in the plate map and choose copy. I next go back to my navigation tabs and I choose the new run file and remember that's the one I want to set up. I navigate to assign and then select only the first well where I want to paste the setup information. In my case that has to be well A1 since I'm transferring an entire plate's worth of info. Now I right click once again and this time choose Paste. And there we are. Notice that all the setup information from the copied wells gets transferred. The colors are different, but that's only because the default colors get selected. You can always go back to Define and alter those choices. Notice that the gene and sample names have been added to the plate as well. Now that said, run method information doesn't get transferred. So if you used custom cycling conditions in the first experiment, you'll need to change those manually in this file. One quick note about experiment properties. When you do this kind of copy and paste, make sure that the first two choices on this page, the block size and the experiment type, correspond between the two files. 
And remember, once you transfer all the well information you'd like, you're free to manually alter the new file as you please before starting it. Well, in the next video, we'll look at the fourth and final way to get setup information into a new run file by importing text or CSV files.